الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بیر حبت فی اللہ سمتن در الیسٹریٹس در دینجرز اف تقلید اف بلائن فالوئن اثرز اور the weakness and the weak position that we are in when we don't seek knowledge. That's why you have to atlib al-ilm. And when you seek knowledge, it's not going to begin by knowing who's on it, who's off it, knowing, uh, you know, major masail, minhajiyah, big, big issues of minhaj, how to make takfir of someone, how to make tibdiyah of someone, things like that. That's not where you begin with your ilm, and that's not the way of the rasikhun of ilm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises all throughout the Qur'an. And in this time, during this time, one of the statements of one of the Rasakhun of Al-Ilm, Imam Nasr al-Din al-Albani, Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasiya. And it was brought to his attention about those people. Now, how many of the youth now, look at this in today, how many Dawah organizations and groups of brothers and sisters, they force you to take their opinion about an individual. And if you are associated with that individual at all, in any way, you're a mubtadiyah like them. Their, your whole masjid is, is mubtadiyah. Your whole da'wah conference, they're mubtadiyah. All of these kind of things. Where did this come from? Let's see what Imam al-Albani had to say about this in his time. And unfortunately, we're still practicing the bid'ah and the dalal, some of us. Imam al-Albani, rahmatullahi rahmatin wasiyah, was asked, he was informed that these days we hear some of our brothers who with much regret have become extremely biased towards the opinions of their sheikh's position on another sheikh. They say, join them along with them, meaning throw the followers of that, uh, of that sheikh with him, associate. So, for example, if we make tabdir, for example, of Sheikh Ibrahim Rahali, then uh, anyone who listens to him is a mubtadi I like him, they're jahil, they're ignorant, don't listen to them. This is exactly what has happened and what continues to happen daily on a daily basis. Wallahu musta'an. So Imam al-Albani, he said, uh, then it was said, so they join them along with him. I mean, they throw the followers, they associate the followers with that tabdir. Of the sheikh whom our sheikh called an innovator along with that sheikh. It as if they are saying, he who does not make tabdir, of whom we make tabdir of, then he is a mubtadiya as well. When asked about this principle, Imam al-Albani, rahmatullahi alayhi, rahmatin wasiya, he was amazed. And he said, Men huwa sahib hadhi al-qawa'id wa men qa'idaha. He said, who is the one who stated this principle or made this principle? And who is the one who came up with him? You know, who made this principle? Uh, and who is the one who practices this principle? Look at that. That shows you right off the get-go. The statement of Imam al-Albani. Again, men who are sahib have a qawaid. Who are the ones who, uh, you know, are associated with this principle? Or they are the owners of this principle? Or they are the practitioners of this principle? Letting him know he's surprised. What is this? Woman qa'idaha. And who is the one who invented it or made it a principle? Letting us know that what? It's not a principle, except for these individuals who have made it a new principle, who've made tibdi of whole nations, literally, uh, because they don't uh, associate with their sheikh, or their sheikh has made tibdi of one sheikh in that. that locality. So Imam al-Albani rahmatullahi he said, it is not a condition ever that he who declares a person to be a kafir and established against him the evidence that all the people should be with him in his takfir of that person. Because it could be that he, the one who made takfir of the other person, has interpreted so. While another alam sees that it is not allowed to make takfir of that person. And the same applies with tafsir, declaring a person to be a fasak. Uh, and tabdir, calling someone a mubtadi'a, an innovator. So this in reality is of the fitan, 
of the current times, along with how the young ones hasten to make allegations against an alam. The point being that this sequential occurrence of an alam calling someone a kafir, fasik, mubtadiyah, and everyone following him in falling under that ruling and making it binding to follow that alam in his ruling is not binding ever. Imam al Albani said this in his silsila Al Huda wa Nur. Uh, and it was tape number 778, and I think you will find it now compiled in book form. And we have these books that are uh, compilations of Imam Al-Albani's tapes. And in fact, to make sure that you can see, let's go ahead and take a look. If you're able to get these books, these are essential. This is Mejmur, uh, uh, Imam, Mujeddin, Nasr Din Al-Albani, Fil Aqidah. All of these are from his tapes. This is nine volumes, which are from tapes of Imam al-Albani, um, which uh, deal with all of these pearls and jewels that you won't find anywhere because they're only there or you have to listen to the tapes. And there's other books, another compilation I have over there, which is also, uh, you know, another 12 volumes. Uh, of, of statements and so on and so forth from the tapes of Imam al Albani. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal with Ilman Nafi Ruskan Taibu Amal Mutakabin wa Sallallahu Sallam ala Nabiyyina Muhammad.